a homemade zucchini crust pizza. It's like a casserole, it's like a pizza. It's absolutely delicious and I think you're gonna love it. Let's make it. This is really a convergence of like a casserole and a pizza. The crust of this is predominantly zucchini and that's what the beauty of it is because who doesn't in the summer, if you grow a garden or have tried to grow zucchini, you probably have too much of it or you have massive ones and don't know what to do with them. Or if you're going to a farmer's market, have a CSA box or just go to the grocery store, you're gonna see tons of zucchini. Now you can use different varieties of zucchini. I have striped ones I grow. You can use just the ones we find all the time. You can even use summer squash for this, the yellow ones, whatever works. Now when they're small like this, I don't take any of the inside out. If they get too large, you of course wanna cut them in half and scoop out the seed and pith because it just gets a little much and too much water content. So what I'm doing is just grating it. And that to me is the best part of this is it's super simple. And you can see you just get these nice strands. Then I measure it, put it in, and I need one more of these. And this is, yes, it has like health components to it. So sure, you can say it's like low carb. That's not what the point of this is though. It's just that it's delicious and it's a great way to enjoy zucchini and use a lot of it. I think when you are in the season, sometimes we feel like we get caught up and don't really enjoy the season or enjoy what's coming out of the garden. This is the way to do that. So I have my zucchini right in there. What we need is something that's gonna bind it together. So that's gonna start with eggs. Eggs, we know, they have that ability to bind. So I'm gonna put my eggs in a bowl first because I want them to be broken up. If you just have the eggs go in one by one like this, it's kind of hard to incorporate them into the strands of zucchini. And I find it easier to be able to first put them in a bowl and then whisk those up. Just break that yolk and just quickly just whisk it up because this is gonna help much quicker incorporate it into the zucchini. So I'm gonna put them over here on the side. We'll kind of just put all the ingredients in here. So we have egg. And now we're gonna just kind of go around the circle. So after the egg, we're gonna do some mozzarella cheese. Now, some of this is gonna go on top too, but what the mozzarella is gonna do is actually help bind it along with, yeah, we're not done, along with some shredded Parmesan. Now, Parmesan also acts as a seasoning, but it has that beautiful browning ability in the oven that just works together and it just binds better. I love it in there. A little bit of salt, Parmesan has a saltiness to it, so we don't need too much a little bit of cracked back pepper. You know, zucchini on its own, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. So that's what we're doing is we're adding in some flavor. And then my last is some little garlic granulars. Now, I love to have dried garlic like this because it just works super well and amps up the flavor. Once it's all in there, we just mix it together. That's why we beat the egg so it would mix together better. And we have all that cheese in there. It's really honestly, I don't know, this is kind of the base to a couple different things you can do and make savory with zucchini and already you wouldn't believe it, but it smells really good. You get the Parmesan, you get that little hint of garlic and it just works together really well. Once this is all mixed together, which takes a few minutes, like seconds actually, we're just gonna pour it right into our small, this is a quarter sheet pan size. It works just in nine by 13 too. Either one of those works well. To me, this makes it in this pan work pretty much like a pizza, which let's be honest, I'm not trying to masquerade this as a pizza. like. So purists out there don't need to freak out that like, this is a pizza. This is a great summer thing to make that has a zucchini-like crust that happens to be like a pizza. <laughs> we're just gonna call it what it is. So what we're gonna do is spread this out and you wanna do it somewhat even, just so it's almost like a crust. And you can even slightly, if you notice what I'm doing, I'm going around and I have to turn it as I go, but I slightly work it up the sides just a little bit. Those sometimes don't define in the oven as well, but as you do this, you can see I'm kind of slightly making a little pizza crust. Now, I should say my sister Kelsey, love her, you may have remembered that recently her and I were talking and she was telling me how she makes something like this a lot for her family. And I was like, this is too good not to share. So I kind of talked to her about different things she did. I tweaked it a bit for myself and that's what this is really born from. So it's a great, she has three kids, all under the age of 12 at the moment. And, uh, it's a great thing to do. So if you have kids, it's a great weeknight meal. If you have old enough kids, it's a great thing I think for them to make. I remember one of the earliest things I learned to make was things with zucchini, because we had so much of it that mom's like, go for it, try something, enjoy it. Now see how I have a slight crust, somewhat around the edges. It's not perfect, you don't have to make it perfect, but just slight. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this right into the oven. We're gonna let it bake till it's set. So it's like pre-baking a crust, think of it as. And then we're gonna fill it. That's the best part.
So I've been chopping up my veggies just to go on top of the pizza. Now I'm doing pretty much what I would do on any pizza and I'm gonna be, this is, pretty, this is a variation of one I would have made all the time growing up where I went out to the garden, saw what was ready and in season, that's what we used. So when we put the pizza together, we're gonna put some red pepper, some onion on it. But what I wanna start by doing is browning up some sausage. I like a sausage pizza. So to me, sausage is the go-to. It has the flavor in it, some seasonings in it. It has a good fat content, so it just has great flavor. Now, I do wanna brown it first, and I'm gonna eventually finish a quick sauce with the meat so it all goes on at once. Now, you can use just a ground beef if you'd rather, or honestly, any type of meat you like. So I have it over medium heat, a little bit of oil. Sausage has usually enough oil in it that you don't need to. So what I'm gonna do is put this right in. As it starts cooking and browning, I'm just gonna keep breaking it up into small pieces, and we'll make the sauce. You can see the sausage is all browned. And now again, if you're just doing hamburger, that's fine too. And it doesn't have, now if it would have a lot of extra fat or grease in it, I would drain that off. This one doesn't, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But now I am gonna amp up the flavors. And this is especially if you're gonna do hamburger, but even a sausage sometimes, I like to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. You can more or less that depending on your heat level. I like some just oregano. This is also for the sauce that we're gonna have. So we're gonna make this right into our sauce and so it can just all be poured on that crust a little bit of oregano and a little bit of dried basil. I like using the dried. I think it picks up the grease that's down below and actually blooms those herbs open more. And you get so much more flavor in that warm grease. And it smells amazing. I'm gonna finish it with just a little pinch of salt. Usually the meat can be seasoned sometimes when you do a sausage, but just a little bit to offset the acidity of the tomatoes. And then we're gonna put in just some tomato sauce. Now, if you want to use fresh tomatoes, you could do that. I like a sauce like this that's canned because it actually is a little bit thicker and so it cooks down better into a sauce. So I'm just gonna let this simmer together for a few minutes while our crust finishes up and then we'll have a pizza. So this has been simmering and it kind of just takes up the extra liquid of the sauce, which is nice. It's just nice and thick. And you can see I pulled out my crust just a couple minutes ago. It gets nice and browned and it gets set. You can see it's like a set crust. It's a beautiful, magical thing. So now we can just put on this glorious meat sauce pretty much. And again, you wanna make this vegetarian? Leave off the meat, that's no issue at all. You could even really simplify this, use your favorite purchased sauce, or if you home make one and can it, use that and you're pretty much good to go. So what I'm gonna do is spread this out somewhat to the corners and you can see that side crust is still there a little bit and that's the best part. It kind of just keeps and holds. This really is a weeknight workhorse. You can variate this. Don't make it into a pizza, make it into different toppings. Instantly I'm thinking of a couple ideas that I love that I should do. That's what I love about this. I'm someone that will always mess with the recipe, change it and keep adjusting and making new things. So I hope you do too. The sauce is delicious. So what we have here is the bottom to a pizza. And I, like I said, I'm gonna dress it how I would. So I'm gonna put some red pepper on it, fresh from the garden. I just like to use whatever's ready whatever is available. If you wanna make this all vegetarian, put on your favorite like roasted vegetables, have them maybe pre-roasted depending on the type. I'm also gonna put on some onion. I like that these will cook, but they will still maintain a little texture and I want that on a pizza. I don't like when my vegetables are too soft and just kind of melt away. I wanna have a little bit of that texture to them. So that's why I like the onion and the pepper on top, not cooked, but you do you. And now of course cheese. So mozzarella. It's gonna just, you know, it's something we can just keep at home, have ready to go. It will melt over all of this. I don't know how this doesn't scream. Weeknight meal. It's like pizza casserole goodness right here. And we're gonna put in a little bit on top. I like to put some parm. Again, the parm browns nicely, but also just seasons it well, and I think balances everything out. So I like to put a little bit of this on top and just freshly shred it and grate it right on there and get it all over because it's like a seasoning. It doesn't take a lot to give you that flavor impact. Now we'll put this back in the oven. The bottom is pretty much baked, so we just need to go all through, melt the cheese, and we'll be eating. So here it is after it bakes. Now this you can tell I already had out of the oven for a couple of minutes just because it's too hot to do right away. So then you can just serve it up. This is, I don't know. I think I love a recipe that can be easy I'm gonna even say somewhat foolproof. Yeah, I said it. I know, we should always be careful when we say those words, but I really do think it can be. First piece always comes out a little bit harder, but ugh, look at that. Ugh, that's just good. You can serve it up. It reminds me 
of just like a good homemade pizza. This isn't trying to be like an artisan pizza. It's just like a great homemade pizza with cheese. Mm. Mm. I love it. I love it because it's just those flavors you expect. You get some of that herb of the oregano and basil in the sauce with the sausage, and that plays together so well. You get little hits of that red pepper. Mm. And that crust actually has a little bit of flavor because we put that garlic with it, the Parmesan. It holds up really well. And it actually is just a delicious meal that I think kids will like, adults will love. It's a well-rounded meal and that's what's really fun about it. So what do I hope you do with this? I hope you go to my website, wiseguy.com, look for the recipe. It's also in the description of the video. Print it off, use it, share it, share this video around because yeah, it helps me, but it helps everyone see good food is possible to make at home and it's not too much work. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So have some good food, enjoy some good friends or family. That's the point.